Welcome to the Control M Workload Automation video series. In this video, we will show you how to use the new variable simulation window in Control M Enterprise Manager 9.0.18. To invoke the variable simulation window, you need to be either editing a folder or a job definition. Let's go ahead and go into a job definition. You can invoke the variable simulation window either from the command line or the variable section of the job definition. As you can see, it's represented by the squiggly brackets with the percent sign inside of them. Let's go ahead and click on it. And you will see that it has the two tabs. If you enter it from the command line, you will be in the command line tab. If you enter it from the variables, section you will be on the variables tab the variables tab is pretty straightforward you will see the name of the variable the original value and the result value of course if you're simply assigning text to the variable or um, numbers then the original value would almost always be equal to the result value However, um, you, you would see that in some of these variables, we are using variable expressions so that um, the original value might have uh, variables in there as well. And you would see the result value would be quite different from the original value. I want to show you what happens if you try to use um, variable that cannot be resolved in the original value. Um, in this example, our percent percent from folder variable has the original bar value of percent percent BF bar percent percent plus 95. That BF bar is coming from our folder. So I wanna show you what happens if we go to our folder definition and take out the BF bar variable. Okay. And then go back to our job definition. Go back to the variable simulation. And you will see that since we do not have a percent percent BF bar variable anymore, the result value will show you that the first parameter percent percent well, BF bar is now replaced with CTM ERR BF bar and it is mentioned as illegal. Another thing I wanted to show you was is that the um, variable substitution variable resolution is from top to bottom. Here you can see that we have percent percent A is being set a value of negative one and percent percent from local is being set to a value of percent percent a percent percent plus the number five. Um, I want to show you what happens if we go ahead and um, rearrange the order. So if we put this percent percent a resolution assignment of negative one uh, down one, uh, sorry, select it and put the up arrow down arrow and down one so that it is behind the percent percent a um, use in from local let's go ahead and go to variable resolution and you will see that because percent percent a is being set over here then the resolution of percent from local that uses percent percent a will be illegal. And lastly, I want to show you that variable simulation is also being used in the command line. Um, if you can see here, we are setting our variable percent percent MMDDYY to percent percent OMONT dot percent percent ODAY dot percent percent OYEAR concatenation, and it resolved to 020919. And if we go to the command line, our command line is echoing our variable percent percent MMDDYY, and it resolves to 
0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0209-0